All right, John O. Strange Stewart making his first appearance in the Pyramid Fight Cage. A uh, guy that gets talked about a lot around here. Um, like I said, known for his wrestling. Looks extremely relaxed, extremely confident. Ladies and gentlemen, now for the fifth fight of the night, out of the blue corner, standing uh, six foot three inches tall, winging at 170 pounds, with a perfect record, four wins, zero losses, fighting from off the chain MMA from Hot Springs, Tyler the Psychopath Stewart. The Psychopath, normally with a nickname like that, you expect to call calm uh, gentlemen, so we're going to see some fire tonight tall, from Tyler Stewart, I feel like. Pounds, <laughs> with a perfect record, one win, zero losses. Fighting from the LC from Walnut Ridge, John Strange-Stewart. All right, guys. Fight number five on the way. John O. Strange-Stewart versus Tyler Psychopath Stewart. The Stewart boys going at it tonight. And Rocky, the best ref in the business, getting them going. Nice show of hands. Here we go, Mr. Kirby. I'm excited about this one. No, I, I, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure my guy fought that guy. He was a straight-up wrestler. Man, he just killed oh, him for three rounds. Yeah, he's, he's uh, like I said, I've never rolled with him, Kirby, but everyone I ever have been, you know, has, they always talk about how good of a wrestler he is. That was pretty sneaky what he did. He, everybody knows he's going to go for a takedown, and he did. Came back with an overhand right. See, that's I've, being smart. I've been noticing a lot of guys setting that up, faking that shot and coming right over with that overhand. Lead with Ooh. that uppercut. Better hit a big nice sprawl, sprawl on him. That's a duck under. But he switched right yeah, to the single. Did man. you see that wrestling? He's flowing. He's going yeah. from the high single to a high cross. He's trying to run the pipe. He's going to sweep the leg, Daniel And he goes right to the double leg. Huge slam from John O. Stewart. And he wasted no time to show that wrestling superiority. When people know that you have wrestling, they're going to respect it. And that slows down their hands. I tell guys all the time, listen, you want to get great at standing up you better be great at defending takedown so your confidence goes up so you don't have to be afraid of what they're going to do to you if he gets up i'll be super surprised because wrestlers he's going to drag him right back he's down. right on top of him mr kirby right on top of him elevator up and down he's on the express lane he's yeah. doing a good job of controlling, uh, controlling that wrist from the top too well it keeps it keeps jono from taking tyler's back and being able to set hooks, you know, that's again, wrestling is fantastic, but now what you gotta do is transition this and start, but he's also, he's got a great team. I mean, I was gonna say, he start working on his jiu-jitsu, but he's got you know, he's all, amazing I he's coaches. he's doing that. Yeah. But it's he's really- got one hook <laughs> in right now. He's gonna end up on his back. He's looking for this cradle, but he's turning on top. Tyler's coming to the top. Wrestlers do not like to be on their back, so. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. No, oh, what right a sneak. into what? Oh. But Austin, or, uh, Tyler spins out of it, though. But it's just great control right now from John. Unbelievable positioning, just nonstop floating. This is what we call float drills. All right. Chin got strap. his neck. Nasty grip right now. Yep, way to go. Man, this kid is just his wrestling Like you flow. said, he's flowing from one, one move to the next. This is a Sandman. Uh, move right here, get into north-south and start smashing on him from a north-south choke. Old school. Tyler was able to get back half guard, but John all right now is just using that superior wrestling to control Tyler on the ground right now. He's looking to trap that cap, but John was doing a great job hiding his right leg that's in half guard. Right? Switching to full mount? No. Almost. What does Tyler need to do right here? To, to get off this position, to get a wrestler like this off of it. So what he's got right now is a mirror lock. Very, very sneaky, which I'm, I'm Oh, he's going for really, the arm. Really looking. I, I mean, I wasn't expecting it. You were saying, what would you expect? I'm like, he needs to start digging for his underhooks. He's got a, but he's letting up a mirror lock with the only thing that you have from there, from that wizard position. So it, Great first round, first round right uh, there. So, I, I mean, having coached against him, but of course seeing him, you know, I analyze these guys. I've been able to announce him a few times. This is his fifth fight in the cage. He's 5-0. and oh. Listen, I, I'm really surprised at how close this is, how close of a battle this is, knowing by far superior wrestling was going to dominate this, dominate this. But I was really surprised that he put some hands on Tyler. Wasn't expecting that. Was waiting for him just to wait his time to take, the, take him down, which he did, but he did a great job setting up that overhand to be able to get the clinch and take down. 
Like you said, when you're fighting a wrestler, that's what they're looking for. So to be able to, to, to fake that shot right there and use that overhand was great. Right now yeah. we're seeing where he switched from the from a double to a single to a high crotch and then right back to the double right there. Look at that. Yeah, that was, that was beautiful, beautiful wrestling. Yep, he's calm, he's cool. Dewan Pickney's in the corner here. John also not breathing too heavy right now. We know when a guy, when you when you can keep a guy on their back like that, like, like that, you know, pressure. You, you it's that pressure that it's it's grinding style that can just take so much out of people. So let's see uh, how these guys come out to answer the second round here, Mr. Kirby. I'd like to see Tyler move a little bit more, getting in range and out of range. He's see he's ready to just throw a bomb, and all Jonah's going to do is drop levels. He's going to parry. See see him dropping right Already now, setting that it up. Shot. Oh, Duck once under again. to the back. Right back, right back down. You know, you got to watch your range. Range is everything against a wrestler because they're used to shooting. Because when they when they wrestle against other wrestlers, they're all in wrestling position. You know, you're in fight range, man. Fight. Jono is doing a wonderful job of control right here. You're what just I, seeing that. And right in the mouth. And he's going into a Kimura, though. He's getting, him, he's getting his arm caught up. Yeah, he's able to defend it. What I love is he's not just wrestling. He was looking for damage as well, which is key when you're in those positions. Exactly. Not not just trying to hold position, but trying to hold yeah. position and to, uh, put yeah. down damage. Yep. Right now, so he's Tyler, getting points. Keeping active. Not usually going to see any stand-ups when somebody's got mount, but. Right now, Ty, it looks like John is going for his back. Like you said, doing a nice job of keeping points, keeping active, doing a little bit of damage, but also just controlling the fight where it's taking place. And got oh, both hooks in. Man, he's under. It looks like he's under the neck. That's that's deep. That's, that's deep. It. And he taps. Beautiful show of wrestling, show of grappling by Jono Stewart. Just showed not only does he have wrestling, not only can he use his wrestling to set up strikes, he also has those nasty submissions too. I mean, that was just a great show of expertise right there from John o. Stewart. He, he flowed his wrestling, got, went from single legs, double legs, high crotch, was able to take the fight exactly where he wanted, and uh, just took out a really, really, really game opponent in Tyler the Psychopath Stewart. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, 25 seconds of the second round, your winner by rear, naked choke, Jono Strange Stewart. 